Well, imagine this old prison in Rio is a, a dying star like Beetlejuice. Out there is the bright surface shining off into space. As I descend deeper and deeper into the prison, the conditions would become hotter and hotter and denser and denser until down there in the heart of the star is the core and it's in there that all the ingredients of life are made. Deep in its core, the star is fighting a futile battle against its own gravity. As it desperately tries to stop itself collapsing under its own weight, new elements are made in a sequence of separate stages. Stage one is while there is still a supply of hydrogen to burn. Whilst the stars burn in hydrogen to helium in the core, vast amounts of energy are released, and that energy escapes, literally creating an outward pressure which balances the force of gravity and, well, it holds the star up and keeps it stable. But eventually, the hydrogen in the core will run out, and at that point, the fusion reactions will stop, no more energy will be released, and that outward pressure will disappear. Now, at that point, the core will start to collapse very rapidly, leaving a shell of hydrogen and helium behind. Beneath this shell, as the core collapses, the temperature rises again, until at 100 million degrees, stage two starts and helium nuclei begin to fuse together. A helium fusion does two things. Firstly, more energy is released, and so the collapse is halted. But secondly, two more elements are produced in that process. Carbon. Oxygen, two elements vital for life. So this is where all the carbon in the universe comes from. You know, every atom of carbon in my hand, every atom of carbon in every living thing on the planet was produced in the heart of a dying star. Now, compared to the lifetime of the star, the creation process of carbon and oxygen is over in the blink of an eye, because in only about a million years, the supply of helium in the core is used up. And for stars as massive as the sun, that's where fusion stops, because there isn't enough gravitational energy to compress the core any further and restart fusion. But for massive stars like Betelgeuse, the fusion process can continue. When the helium runs out, gravity takes over again, and the collapse continues. The temperature rises once more, launching stage three, in which carbon fuses into magnesium, neon, sodium, and aluminium. And so it goes on, core collapse, followed by the next stage of fusion to create more elements. Each stage hotter and shorter than the last. And eventually, in a final stage that lasts only a couple of days, the heart of the star is transformed into almost pure iron, whose chemical symbol is Fe. This is where the fusion process stops. In its millions of years of life, the star has made all the common elements. The stuff that makes up 99% of the Earth. The core is now a solid ball of those elements, stacked on top of each other in layers. On the outside, there's a shell of hydrogen. 
Beneath it, a layer of helium. Then carbon and oxygen and all the other elements, all the way down to the very heart of the star. And once that has fused into solid iron, the star has only seconds left to live. When a star runs out of fuel, then it can no longer release energy through fusion reactions. And then there's only one thing that can happen. In about the same amount of time it takes this prism block to crumble, the entire star falls in on itself. <laughs> 